haha <laughs> unless otherwise specified dimensions are in inches so remember last year was millimeters this year inches I mean why else wouldn't you use inches it's what brought us to the moon you look it up it's a true fact it was my extrusion depth what is my extrusion depth supposed to be oh gross uh-uh I am misreading this drawing all over the place. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That's looking better. See, it doesn't split it, so that makes me want to do go up before the mirror. That is looking really good. It did what I didn't want it to do. We have six minutes. This is why I'm practicing, right? Because I am not doing well on this one. I think I'm gonna have to do a part two later because I'm close. I'm really close, right? I just have to figure this part out, then do some fillets, and then we have it. It's at the top, right? So I want to take that face, offset entities, reverse. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Another one failed. We can do better. Well, after a long break. Uh, I'm finally ready to take Model Mania 2002, give it a second shot. So another take two for you guys. Taking a look at the units here, actually I took a look in the bottom right hand corner, it actually says all the units are to be in inches, unless otherwise specified. So might I take that, that all of the dimensions on there, the 7, the 15, the 10s, the 14s, are those millimeters or inches? Well you take a look at the fillets, that 3 millimeter fillet, and I was playing around in SOLIDWORKS earlier to kind of see how I could build this up. And indeed, all dimensions are in millimeters. In terms of the isometric view, what's your front view? Well, your front view is really this bottom left view, and your top view is this one here. So I think I'm going to start out with the top plane and create my sketch like this. Um, we'll extrude it out and then cut away some material to get this profile. Um, and then do our work with the pockets. So again, we're gonna do some symmetry here. Um, contour selection is definitely going to help us. Uh, so with that, what did I say? We're gonna start on the top plane. So, oop, don't start yet. Let's start that counter. You can see it, and we're going. Top. So I'm gonna start this just by drawing a line out in space. Um, exactly how I'm going to use this, I don't quite know yet. Um, actually, hit that cancel. Let's exit my sketch because, remember, I didn't change my units. Let's switch over to MMGS. Double-click that sketch to get back into it. And now we will apply that dimension of 15. Um, we have an offset here of 7. Yep, 7. Um, I have a vertical line over here to the right. Oh, and it's quarter. We're doing a quarter here, so we can just make that relationship, make that vertical, and bring up some tangency here. And again, there's some easier ways that I could be drawing this all together, but you know, as you think about it, it's just kind of what happens. Um, Alright, so with that point, I actually want to... I've already misclicked here. I want to extend that entity out extend it out one more time finally get what I'm after um, but I want that to be coincidence so as we bring this out kinda want that to be my point there that locks those things down then we'll apply my angle of 7 um, what's my distance out here well, there's a height that goes in there in that drawing, but it's a diameter of 70. Let's just bring up this up here. Diameter of 70. I don't... Uh, I did try that earlier. It's not right. Um, this is defining how far out we're going. So then I can make this 100 relationship there. 100 distance. So what I will do is I'll just grab a circle. Um, we'll sketch it out here. And I will, to this line, hold shift, that's a keyboard shortcut to dimension that minimum distance there, and that is 7. Um, and then the distance between these two circles is 100. And the size of that is 70. 
and notice that's what gives me that fully defined sketch. So in terms of this circle, I want it for construction. Um, I don't want to use it here. Now, you know, why did I have this line go all the way across? Well, we're going to use contour selections. So we'll do an extrude of that and that. Um, how high are we going to go? Um, it's kind of arbitrary at this point because I'm going to cut it forward. So let's just kind of guess a value. Click OK. And just create a sketch on that front plane. And now we are trimming this out. So maybe I'll start down here, come all the way across, up to there. This is the outside profile, so we're going to end back there. Um, center point of that hole should be coincident with that line. Um, we do have another hole here, similar to what we had before. And this was 70. And the distance uh, from there to there. Oops. Hold control. I want to hold shift is 7 and the angle of that one is 15 so we're doing really good now um, I've gone through some of these clicks already but uh, we will do features extrude cut we're gonna do through all sure both it doesn't well through all yeah we're doing quarter contours though we're cutting that away we want to do a flip side to cut and we're looking good. Um, okay, don't want to do the pocket yet. We want to add draft to these outside faces. So we'll use the draft tool. Neutral plane, 7 degrees. Neutral plane is there. Faces to draft is that. Um, oh, wrong face. Looking at this wrong. Clear. Clear. Um, it's like this. So my neutral plane is that guy. And we are drafting that one and that one. Uh, drafted outwards. No, I don't want that way. I want to go reverse. Click OK. Um, so now I'm looking good. Let's mirror this over. Face is that one. Bodies to mirror is that. Hit OK. Now I can do my pocket. Um, OK. Taking a look at the drawing, right? We to create this pocket. We want to maintain this seven millimeter thickness for the cylinder on the right hand side there. How am I going to do that? Well, I can actually take some of this inside geometry, this kind of bottom face and offset it up. And that's going to give me this edge here. And then I can do an offset there to get that seven, um, seven millimeter distance. So let's do that. Let's create some surface geometry here. We're going to do a offset surface of those two reverse direction seven millimeters and then on the top plane we'll create our profile here so we can do an offset there of seven we can do a offset of that face reverse do some trim and to get that all the way over there, we'll delete that relationship. I can drag to loosen that up, and then I can create the relationship to make that collinear. So I have my profile. Let's do an extrude cut. We're going to do an offset. I don't know how far. What did we do earlier? 50? Yeah, that looks okay. And we are going to up to surface, because we already did the offset. And that gives me my pocket. I could do draft there, but the draft gives me bad draft. Um, let's hide my surface body. I don't need that anymore. Uh, we will use the draft feature to do this. Draft angle of 7 degrees. All right, so this is tricky. Um, we're at 13 minutes. Uh, we need to use parting line because we need to maintain these top edges here. Our direction of pull remains the same. We're actually 90 degrees of the first one, but parting line here. We want to maintain these edges. All right. Um, seven degrees, click OK. Are we going the right way? No, we're not, just like last time. So I need to reverse my direction of pull. And that's looking good. Um, do some fillets. Uh, what are they? Three millimeters. 
Well, and we'll just kind of grab faces here. If we grab all those, that propagates to the necessary ones. One thing they do there, and I do this when we have time, is apply a color to those fillets just so you know kind of where they're applied and see them matched up to the drawing. And I think that is looking good. So we can mirror, uh, mirror the face is the bottom face body again. Click OK and we need to fill it the outside so we will do a oh fill it tool there it is we used it already um, three millimeters again but these are the outside and bottom and what these are purple so I think I've got it I think that's it All right, so assuming that's the case, I mean, at this point, again, I would hit submit. And, hey, Proctor, I'm ready for part two, phase two, and they would hand me this drawing, and we're looking at love mints in time. So hopefully this doesn't take us too long. So how can we easily create these configurations? I, would I use the exact dimensions earlier? And ideal, ideally, we would have, and I think I did. Um, so let's start applying some of these changes. So to take a look. We have a table that we can work with. Um, create yeah and again read the notes so create three additional configurations of the part with following dimension changes we get some views there you will need to add these configurations to the same part used in the phase one the first configuration will already name default so we want to create configurations um, and do those changes at the same time um, you know since I've already done through some of these clicks um, I have some ideas how I can make this more efficient but let me show you what I'm initially initially want to do um, I am going to find the first dimension of map. The first one that jumps out to me is the 60, 50, 40, the diameter of this large hole. So um, with Instant 3D on, um, I can click on a face. It shows me those features, and I can right-click on the dimension and choose Configure Dimension. Um, this gives me that default, so I will then create B, oops, B, Enter, C, Enter, and D, Enter. And the values of these in the table are 60, Enter. 50 enter and 40 enter and I can I can save this so I can call this uh, large hole diameter Hit save now here's the tip you could add additional parameters here going in and double clicking adding to this but again without force I'm like okay I've got that one done let's go to the next one so distance between um, it was at 100 so we'll right click there configure dimensions um, what did we call this? We called this the distance between. <laughs> distance between. Can't name it too long. Save table view. The values of these are 125, 150, 175. Hit OK. And the last one is the top angle slope. So looking there at that face, that is that 15. Right click. Configure dimension slope the only reason I'm naming it there is if I need to go back to this exact table because these are the dimensions that I'm kind of primarily interested in uh, this one's 10 7 5 okay so all those tables when I click that uh, naming button I have these tables view and I didn't hit save there so <laughs> for the slope it's not there uh, let's see how I did B it rebuilds everything is looking okay C it rebuilds, everything is looking okay, and D, I did, how well did I do here? Aha, so we have a failed fillet. Let's just continue. Why did the fillet fail? Did something earlier happen? Did draft mess up? It says the draft still applied. If we go to the top face, it still kind of looks like it's there. Let's edit the fillet. Oh, that's why a fillet failed, right? No. How's our surface looking? 
Surface looks okay. It's rather high because the fillet's failing because it has a fillet of three, right? Three millimeters. Adding additional faces doesn't help me. Yeah, because it's it's too big. Did I change something wrong in my slope? That's now 5. 40. 175. Ooh. That's not right. That's not right. There it is, right there. So that hole. All right, so yeah, this is where, how much time do we have left? Because I think I can correct it. Six minutes? Yeah, I think I can. So do you remember what I did in the beginning? That's 70. <laughs> That's part of my problem. So in fact, some of my other parts, even though they looked okay, they were bad. So I could link this, um, or I can just quickly jump in, configure dimensions. Yeah, this was the 70, so this one's 60. 50, 40. There we go. Now my part D rebuilds fine. Part C rebuilds fine. Part B rebuilds fine. And we have our default. There we go. All right. Phase two of 2002 complete. I'm um, going to call that the pass. Of course, it was my second time taking it, so um, if you do see anything that um, I failed um, or if you would do it any differently, feel free to leave a comment and down below. Um, otherwise, subscribe. We're going to do, um, we're going to try a couple things differently in the next Model Manias. Uh, we're going to be at the Yakima User Group um, tomorrow, so we'll hopefully be able to do this live in, some, uh, in front of some people and really put the pressure on. I didn't stop my timer. Stop. So okay, we've got over like five minutes left, right? It's a good thing I recorded it so you can actually see when I finished. I will be publishing these as we move forward. So please, subscribe, hit the links above. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Um, and hopefully, see you on stage at Model Mania, SolidWorks World 2017. See ya.